All right, this next video is going to be on two beat patterns. And to play two beat patterns, we really need to know where roots and fifths are for the chords. So we're going to use G as an example here. And we're going to play our G triad, which would be root, third, fifth. But we're just going to concentrate on the root and the fifth. So we've got the root here, third fret on the E string is G. And then the fifth of that chord is going to be the note D on the A string fifth fret. Now on two beat patterns, essentially we're, we're concentrating on half notes. So beat one on the root and beat three on the fifth. Now there's another G up here at the top of our G major scale. Okay, so it, if we were to use it, then the fifth is right below it. So we could play root, fifth, root, fifth pretty easily. Okay, and we can transpose that to many of our other chords, or any of our other chords. If we wanted to be on C, well, here's the note C, root, fifth. Here's another root that's another C, and the fifth. Okay, now we often will put little, uh, little extra notes or little grace notes in. walk in just a little bit coming right into the new chord. Um, so for instance, G down to C, G, D, C, G, D. Okay, for an example of a bass line that uses two beat. Now you can combine two beat and walk Now a lot of times what I'm doing to get that little is I'm just playing an open string, whatever I'm going to slap the finger down on or hammer on to bring it into. It doesn't work real well in all keys, but most of the keys that you play in uh, you can get away with that because it's such a small note and it's just more of a character thing uh, than it is an actual note in the chord or in the walk. 